Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth, and much love to the anonymous family of Op Liberation. I want to read out you all a little post. Uh, the hacker group Anonymous reportedly has the troubled teen industry in its cyber hit list, zeroing in on Logan River Academy on Monday in a campaign that asserts abuse of its underage clients. A Twitter storm on social media with the hashtag ShutLoganRiver was active Monday, drawing on allegations that the Utah school uses prolonged solitary confinement called development time as a way to punish non-compliance with school rules. Anonymous is a loose and elusive online collective of people around the world who call themselves hacktivists. Well, obviously the writer of this doesn't know shit, um, first of all. So I'm not even going to read the foolishness except for this. Um, let's see, where is it here? Logan River's statement. Oh, yeah. Logan River issued a statement Monday denying allegations of illegal or unsafe conduct, calling for the information being shared online, false, inaccurate, and misleading. Students are not isolated, secluded, abused, or mistreated in any way, the statement said. To the contrary, students facing an acute and temporary crisis receive increased supervision and support during the crisis to protect them and others uh, to the best provide for their well-being and to best provide from the uh, well-being. Okay, and you see a quote here from a Texas resident. I was a victim of this program. I was mentally tortured and still have a scar that will never go away. We see this day after day after day. When I say we, uh, people that are looking in on the troubled teen industry, which is nothing but a, an abusive, corrupt, money-hungry machine chewing away the lives of our children and profiting in ways that you can't even fathom. So anyway, this is what I chose to do. Um, I think they ought to uh, give the alternative media a chance to come into their establishment and talk to every one of the children. I'm going to go now to an audio. I just called them. I'm going to ask you to do the same. I might have been a little bit rude, but you know what? Right now, children are being abused, and I don't care. Academy, how could I assist you? Hello? Uh, yes, I'm sorry, ma'am. I had uh, my microphone muted. Uh, for quality assurance, I, w I want you to know that this call is being recorded, will be released to YouTube. I'm calling from masterofmanythings.com, an alternative media site, an activist site, and I'm reading a post uh, of a boast that Logan River made after the anonymous took an attack, a social network attack because of the abuse at uh, Logan River Academy. Now, um, it stated Which that... Which is totally not true. Well, I've this is what I'm... Wait, wait a minute. I've, I've read your quote, and that's why I'm calling you. I'm calling you to demand that your academy let any alternative media source that wants to come in there yes, and interview and look, yes. your students, interview the parents, yes. and take a walk through... Uh, look at any information that they want to look at. We are opening our facility to anyone that would like to visit. And they We've will have access to any and all children at your establishment at that time? Absolutely. Okay. Then um, you should expect that in uh, other emails and phone calls as well. Thank I mean, you. there is one thing is the parents would have to okay it first. Oh, you I know, see. Like, we have parents that are... And, and so how do we know that you're being truthful when you say, oh, parent A, B, and C uh, did not wish to have their children interview? How do we know that? Are you going to supply the parents' names and phone numbers, or do we need to dig into your website and find them ourselves? You know, what I... Because I'm just the night receptionist, um, sure. but I've been here 13 years, I can put you to Jeff Smith's voicemail, and he can return your call and answer all your questions. Okay, well, you know what? I don't have time to leave him a message because I'm leaving the message with you. Expect us. Thank you. Well, there you go, folks. Like I said, I wasn't all that polite because I've had enough. And I, I'm sorry to that poor lady who probably just sits there at night and never sees anybody um, and doesn't hear the screams down the hall, doesn't see the tears of those kids 
after they've been mentally and physically abused. We see it time and time and again. Have I spent time at Logan River? No. Would I like to spend some time there right at this moment interviewing those kids? You're damn right. I'm going to ask the rest of you to give them a call. Email them if you want. Fax the hell out of them. I'll link you to the website, link you to this post I just uh, read. And that hashtag wasn't just a Monday thing, folks. It's going right now. Uh, let's show you here how current that hashtag still is for Op Liberation and uh, Shut Logan River. One hour ago, one hour ago, see people, even as of an hour ago, two hours ago, all day long. So support that hashtag, make that phone call, much love, many thanks, and it is best to always expect. And you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers.